How's it going YouTube? I'm Doug Art bringing you episode 16 of the workshop. Today we have, as you can see, quite a few Marvel and one Star Wars, so let's get on into it. So first up we have What If T'Challa is Star-Lord. This is from the What If TV show. I made this a long, long time ago, back when the episode first aired. It is the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Star-Lord with repainted skin to match T'Challa's complexion. And then a custom head sculpt. I say custom, it's the Star-Lord head sculpt, but I took off the hair that Star-Lord has and sculpted in the hair that T'Challa has. It was a very simple custom, but I just loved the look of the outfit and I loved the episode. I thought he was really cool as Star-Lord. Unfortunately, because it's painted, there is paint rub, so if I bend the elbows too much, the purple will come off. And so it's more of a statue or pose it and leave it for a few months, then pose it again. But I can't really play with it. But that is the unfortunate downside to customs occasionally, is paint rub is an absolute bitch. So as we're doing what if, I thought I'd show Thanos' crotch. No, I'm joking. I thought I'd show the other What If custom I have, which is by Storm Spider Customs on Instagram. This is the What If Thanos. So the base body is a Marvel Legends Thanos Infinity War, I believe. I don't think it's the free pack or anything like that. I think it's just the builder figure. So repaint the skin to be more accurate. Resculpted the head to be zombified. Gouged out a massive bit of his head. And then gouged out his arm, gouged out his arm, focus, thank you. The gauntlet is the same, but it is missing the stone, just like you see at the end of the episode, because obviously at the end of the episode, he hasn't got vision yet. I thought that was a bone painted, but it's actually the articulation joint. So if you were to paint it, it would just rub off. And then a massive gouge in the arm, and then just painted blood on the outfit to simulate he's um, not his normal self. I don't really have any size comparisons for you because I don't own a Marvel Legends Thanos, but trust me, it's literally just a builder figure. Well, I say just, it's incredible, but it is a modified builder figure. So a big thank you to him. I really like this figure, and he stands on my shelf with... Dead Strange and my other zombies. Speaking of Storm Spider Customs, here we have Boba Fett's helmet, and I'm just kidding again, it is a full custom figure to look like the Typhon scene, the rearmored scene. So I can't remember who the 3D printed parts are from, but they are 3D printed. I've also forgot to give him the flex resin holster. Yeah, this is the non-flex resin. It does come with a rifle as well, but because, again, this is custom painted, it's more of a statue because the paint rub will rub at the elbows. But it's a really cool looking figure. And again, I have him posed on my shelf, looking badass. And even though I don't like the Mandalorian or Book of Boba Fett, I love the outfit. I think I just knocked his knee off, that's not good. Oh, this is glued on. Oh, well, I can glue that back on. Yeah, super happy with it. So please check out him in, on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'd highly recommend any of his work. Second to last, we have a just a recent pickup. Why well, I say recent, it was months ago. I picked up the Endgame Hawkeye. So I definitely wanted this. And now I have both Ronin and Hawkeye. He's all, he came loose, but he does have all his accessories and stuff, so. Pretty cool figure, uh, decent likeness. I kind of wish we got a TV show Hawkeye uh, figure from Figure Arts, but it seems like they're not touching the shows at all, which is annoying as hell, because I would kill for Figure Arts Moon Knight. I absolutely love the design of the outfit. And lastly, we have Marvel and She-Hulk. I picked up the full um, What If Ultron wave, because I wanted to complete the Ultron 
And then it turns out the Ultron was the most disappointing Marvel Legends figure I've possibly ever had, so I sold it. But I tried to sell all the other figures that I didn't want. I couldn't sell She-Hulk, I couldn't sell Sharon, and, and I did sell Miss Marvel. So I thought, okay, I've got her now, what am I going to do with her? I will make her a little bit more to my liking. So, even though I don't like the show, I can just pretend this is not anything to do with the show. I got rid of her shoes and gave her bare feet, just like the Hulk. And I tell you right now, it was a pain trying to match the greens from the leg to the feet. It isn't perfect, but on camera it looks better <laughs> than it does in person. So for you, you can see it's closer than it actually is. And the other thing I did was modify her ab crunch so she can crunch a bit forward and a lot further back. So now I can get her in some decent poses and pretend like she isn't an absolutely abhorrent character and that she's actually a well-known, uh, well-liked character like she's in the comics. And the cool thing with this is she still has ankle pivot but for some reason it's a bit stiff on this side. I don't want to break it so I'm not going to risk it. The only issue is her headpiece it's so massive gets in the way of making the head look up so that's really awkward <laughs> but you get the gist of it um very simple custom maybe do this to your figure if you're not liking her because now i do enjoy her a lot more but you will not catch me ever praising the show so i hope you enjoyed this video please hit like button if you did and dislike if you didn't link to the uh, Storm Spider Customs in the description, and I'll catch you in the next almost a picture video. Peace. So first up, we have what if T'Challa was Star Wars? Is Star Wars? Jesus Christ.